Hi guys, let's take a look at homonyms of Womunima. Remember for Womunima, they sound the same and they are spelt the same. With homophones, they sound the same, but they aren't spelt the same. Okay, so we're going to write a sentence where we use the homonym of all of these underlined words. So, in, so now you have to read the sentence to understand what it means in this context. So, die netbal oefening sal vanmiddag twee uur dier. So, dier in this sentence means the, the last, to last or how long it will last. So, we can say something is expensive in our sentence, right? So, this one is how long it will last. So, we can use expensive. So, we can say die oorloosie is dier. And here it will mean the watch is expensive. Ek ken haar al van dat ons in graad 1 is. So I know her since we've been in grade 1. So we have to use ken in a different context. We can't use it as knowing something. So another ken is your chin. So we can say haar ken is lang, for example. Her chin is long. Jy moet asseblief die licht afskakel as jy die klas verlaat. So licht in this context means... The light, right? So we can use, so light as in electricity, the, the bulb. So we can use something to indicate weight. So we can say, say is so licht, so severe. And there, our light indicates weight. Die sien lei aan a ongeneeslike siekte. So the sun is enduring an incurable sickness. So, Lay can also mean to lead, right? So this is suffering, but lay can also be to lead. So we can say, Yuan lay di span. He leads the team. Die vier leaders het die boeken in die kaste gepak. So vier indicates the number four year. So our fear will be to celebrate. Ons vier sê verjaarsdag. So this fear will mean then to celebrate. Jy moet weer die boeken in die kast terugpak. So weer hier means to do it again. So we can use the weather. So we can say die weer is mooi. Dis mooi weer or something like that. So this weer would then mean weather. It's like sun, rain, etc. Die verwer het die leer gebruik om op die dak te kan klim. Leer in this context means... Ladder. He used the ladder to climb on the roof. So our leer can be to learn something. Ek leer kins. I'm learning some art. So that leer would then be to learn something. So there you know. So oh, there you go. Womanima sound the same and spelt the same. But they have completely different meanings. I will see you in the Womufun video.